everybody welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video we're gonna keep it clean we kind of keep it simple this time around I've been filming all day I've been editing all day I'm really 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 tired <laughs> but I wanted to end it off with a really nice fun video relaxed get to know me a little bit more this is an honesty kind of I don't know it's a tag that I found online uh, I'll put down the link <clears throat> down below um, I feel like these are great to get to know somebody a little bit more and I know that I've got so many new subscribers since the last get to know me tag that I did I think I did one at the very beginning of my solo channel so I'll link that one down below but these questions are slightly more different and I think it would be nice to get to know me a little bit more especially for the new people to the channel and because I'm filming for vlogtober listen ideas sweetie hey and I thought that because I don't do um tag videos much anymore this would be fun and a fun way to close off a full day of filming and yeah we're gonna get into it the first question is what are you wearing as you can see I'm wearing a friend's top I got this from cotton on and I'm wearing some biker shorts keeping it simple and some slippers on because I'm in the house bro so be like that sometimes question two have you ever been in love yo guys I have uh, the first person I fell in love with yeah hey, he hit me it was a vendor boy <laughs> and he hurt me quite a lot uh, but I really really we were we were we were together for a really long time and Yeah, I liked him quite a lot loved him and uh, He hurt me a lot because that's what men do. They hurt people. Uh, have you ever had a terrible breakup? I don't think my breakups have been terrible uh, But if you were to change the question slightly and say have you ever been through the most with a breakup absolutely um and it's it's a recent one so i went through the absolute most with this one you know when it gets to a point where you're just crying and one minute you're upset and one minute you're grieving a loss and one minute you're mad at somebody and the next minute you just i went through all the motions all the feels um definitely the hardest one that i've had yet uh because i yeah i genuinely thought that you know we were gonna be together for a very long time together, but uh, we weren't. And so, yeah, shit happens, I guess. It'd be like that sometimes. Um, but I learned a lot more from that breakup as well. I learned more about myself, about who I am, and yeah, found something else, something good. <laughs> so I'm good. I'm good now. I'm good now. How tall are you? I'm actually very short. I am 1.57 meters. So I'm actually quite short. And this is a thing that a lot of people don't believe about me. And I feel like Palissa also mentioned it in our friend's video where she spoke about uh, she was amazed the first time she met me at how short I am. I'm actually really short. Gents, guys, girls, gents. <laughs> I'm actually really, really short. I am pretty much apart from Khanya or apart from the babies of the family, I'm pretty much the shortest person in my family. I'm pretty sure I'm the shortest person in my family. How much do you weigh? I'm going to answer this because I I'm, I'm afraid. I'm afraid to answer this. I weigh currently when I last I checked myself I weighed 68 kilograms, but I'm pretty much sure that I am a kilo or two heavier now because Sis has been drinking alcohol. Okay, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? When you're stressed out, you go, you just go on <laughs> a little bit. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, tattoos, yes, I do. If you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I've got a tattoo here and I've got a tattoo there. I've got four tattoos and I'm really itching to get another one. <laughs> I really am. Piercings, yes, all my piercings are here. In total, I've got eight piercings. So I've got two on this side and six on this side. You guys have pretty much seen it. Um, do I want to get pierced anywhere else? Nope, not really. I think I'm pretty much good. I think we're good to go. I remember one of my colleagues was saying another time, she's like, I can't believe you pierced all the way. Oh, sorry, I've got six this side. I've got six this side and two this side. And uh, I, she said, I can't believe you've pierced the hole. Do you know that when you get older, your ear is going to droop? And I'm just like, but girl, girl, you, you're doing too much. Okay? You're doing a little bit. You're doing too much. Uh, OTP, look to me, OTP means... <laughs> OTP like the one-time pin <laughs> but apparently it's also one true pairing 
for me, I don't know. I don't. I don't follow these things and I don't follow, I don't look at a couple and think, oh, they're the epitome or what, I don't know. I really don't know. So, uh, favorite show, favorite show for me would be, whew, that's hard because I, I watch a lot of shows and some of them are just nostalgic for me. Like Will and Grace is very nostalgic for me because it reminds me of my mother. And then there's the Big Bang Theory because how do you not love Sheldon? Penny, 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 Penny. Penny, um, and then there's series like The Handmaid's Tale, all of that, so there's just a bunch, but for me, I would definitely say The Handmaid's Tale is right up there with some of the best, one of the best shows I've watched in a really, really long time, um, and then there's that, that just, um, that guilty pleasure stuff, The Housewives and all of that, this is the stuff that I watch when I'm trying to just mindless entertainment i really just want to watch something you know i'll watch that because it keeps me entertained for a couple of hours also 90 day fiance wow hectic hectic i also really really enjoy those when i really just want mindless entertainment but a lot of the time i'm more into more serious shows like uh, what if, and on Netflix, I've just watched hectic serious shows. I can't think of any now. Yeah. Um, favorite bands. I don't really follow bands, but I mean, Backstreet Boys was a boy band. NSYNC was a boy band and I love them. I love them. So, <laughs> uh, I grew up on those bands. Westlife. My mother really loved Westlife as well. So I grew up on those kinds of bands. So I suppose there we go. Something you miss, definitely my mom. Someone I miss, definitely my mom. Uh, what else do I miss? Just the, the carefreeness that comes with being a child. Like I feel like your adulting is the biggest scam. Like we, we have just been taught that you're going, becoming an adult and this and that and the other. It's going to be fun. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be, it's, it's a lie. They lied to us. The, the bottom line, bottom a pretty bottom line is that they lie to us. Adulting is a scam, so I just miss the the um, the carefreeness of being a child. I really, really miss that. And all you need to worry about is just doing well at school and uh, yeah, food taken care of, electricity, clothes, everything taken care of. Now, now I gotta do all that myself. How old are you? I am 34, so I'm one of the grown-ups. Of South African YouTube and I don't mind it I like it I feel like it separates me a little bit from um, the younger content creators I actually really like it so yeah I've been on this so yeah zodiac sign I'm a Gemini so I know that people will tend to say that Gemini's are a little bit problematic and they're frivolous and they're what what and they're two-faced and they're whatever but let me tell you something about Gemini's even aside from that, <laughs> aside from that, we're fun. We're fun to be around. Well, for people who do know us, we're fun to be around. We're a great time. When we need to be a great time, we're a great time. And people enjoy being around us. And that's that on that, on that, on period. Um, uh, quality you look for in a partner, kindness. For me, one of the biggest things that I look for in a partner is kindness. You need to be kind. Um, some people mask kindness very well and then they turn out to be really shitty people. But when you do find somebody who's really kind, it encompasses everything. So, you know, the, he can be wealthy, this, that, she can be this, that, that. But honestly, if somebody is kind, they know how to handle um, you with care. They know that you're a person just as much as they are. Um, yes, you might do things differently or whatever, but they handle you with kindness. And, and it shows a lot about how they treat other people, um, you know, how they feel about family, friends, whatever. Uh, just somebody who's rooted in kindness is very, very important for me. Very important. Um, favorite quote. You never know how strong you are until being strong is the only choice you have. Something like that. Um, I feel like this, for me, has been the biggest, one of the biggest standout quotes of my life. 
uh, where just sometimes you just get thrown into a deep end of a situation where you got to just handle and you got to be strong and you don't know how you achieve it. Like when I, when we lost my mom, me and Naledi, and immediately overnight, I had to switch to thinking for my sister and to making sure that my sister's okay and making sure that this is this. So I've always been thrust into situations where I've had to be strong. I've, um, I've been in relationships where I've just, <laughs> my strength had had to double because of, I, I've, I've been through a lot in relationships. Uh, I just don't talk about it online, but I have been through a lot in relationships and I've had to just be strong and, uh, yeah yeah you know losing family members that kind of stuff Whew. Whew. favorite actor it'll always and forever be denzel washington for me that man oozes just charisma he oozes rain he oozes rain as in r-e I G N rain. He he oozes power. He oozes black excellence. He oozes. He's just mm, and a master at his craft, and really just a family man, and 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 so well spoken. And I could listen to Denzel all day, baby. I could listen to Denzel all day. He's just got that thing about him which I love quite a bit. Loud music or soft for me, it's always soft. Okay, I can, I can do loud music when, you know, out partying, out and about, whatever. It doesn't drive me crazy, but when I'm at home, um, I'm listening to the likes of, let me see, uh, listening to the likes of Teeks, uh, Tenerelle, um, Celeste, uh, Billie Eilish, um, Snow Allegra, uh, Amu Moses, uh, Mandisi Diantis, like this is very, very chilled, very mm, mm, music. Uh, I also listen to a lot of local artists. Her, of course, uh, saw me, uh, Jen, a lot. Uh, Ralph Gum, Ralph Gum, Rum Gold, <laughs> and a bunch of other people. Yeah, Elaine, blah, 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 all those people. But yeah, I, 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 I prefer my music fairly soft. It's, it's my vibe. Where do you go when you're sad? My bedroom. I close the shutters, I get into bed, and I be sad. And I allow myself to be sad, and I allow myself to cry. Once I move, leave my bedroom, that's it. That's it. We tune into, we tap into strong mode, we tap into whatever. And I know, I know, like, there's this thing, out there. black women, we don't want to be strong anymore, and we don't. That's the reality of the thing. We're tired. We grew up to be taught to be strong. We have to be strong in our childhood. We have to be strong in our adulthood. At some point, we want to be treated softly, and we just don't want to be strong, right? But uh, on my sad days, I literally... Do you see how I digress? But on my sad days, I literally just go to my bedroom. I close the shutters. I take a book with me. I take a cup of tea, and I get into bed. And that's it. That's it. I don't surface for the whole day or whatever. And then when I'm okay, I'll resurface. How long does it take you to shower? Literally five minutes. Anyway, between four and six minutes. I do not take my time in the shower. No, I, I do that with a bath and I relax and whatever. I prefer showers. Uh, it's quick. It's, uh, let's just do it. If there's one thing that I find really annoying about daily hygiene is, is the fact that you have to take a shower. Yo, it's like I could give somebody my body and just be like, kupan kapele fast and then bring it back to me and then I can continue about my business. I just feel like it's just, just such a waste of time. Showering, oiling yourself and whatever. It's just this boring mundane task that you have to do every day, but it be like that sometimes. Ooh. How long does it take to get you ready in the morning? 30 minutes. If I am wearing makeup, maybe 45 at the most. 30 minutes to get ready to get everything done and be out the house definitely if i'm going to work every day and i'm going to the office around 45 minutes have you ever um, been in a physical fight i have and it didn't end quite well, well for the other girl <laughs> not, for, <laughs> not for me the thing is i feel like you know um people see me and they think oh she's so sweet whatever whatever i've got a mouth Okay, I've got a mouth, and if I don't have a mouth, I have catch hands. Let's go. Like my sister says it all the time. But the thing is, for me, I just I don't I never want to resort to this, and I never wanna 
uh, I remember I've got a mouth and I remember earlier this year I literally told someone where to get off uh, <laughs> on social media and I actually felt dirty after that because I felt like why did I actually stoop to this woman's level and I don't know but I've got a mouth on me and if you want catch me outside catch me outside be like that sometimes um, turn or on turn on is somebody smart I'm really turned on. I'm, I'm, I'm turned on. I'm really turned on by intelligence, and I'm really turned on by kindness, and I'm really turned on by someone who knows how to court. And um, yeah, then then if we're looking at physical attributes and all of that, I really like someone with a nice smile. Ooh, <laughs> Lord, nice smile, nice hands. Men need to have nice hands, okay? Uskaba, uskaba, handsy, ubenali, like black marks under your fingernails, and this, this, this. Must have long, nice, long fingers, nice hands, man. This whole part must just be a rat. Must just be a rat. And uh, I don't know. Yeah, someone who's got a really good way with words as well. Mm. Mm. But smile, oh yeah, oh yeah. Turn off uh, liars, cheats. Uh, <laughs> um, what else? Bad breath. I think I've spoken about this in a Candid with Cat video, which I'll link down below as well. And you can check it out, some of my turn off white shoes. Uh, <laughs> I know, pompous, arrogant people. I don't like it when somebody is arrogant. Like, look at me. This is me. This is what I have. This is what my life is about. This, this, that, and the other. It's not my vibe. It's not for me. Like, if we talk about pompas, it's I'm all about pompas over there. I really don't appreciate that kind of stuff. Uh, the reason I joined YouTube, because I just wanted to, one, put myself out there. I am an introvert, so there's an element of me that is quite shy. Um, so I wanted to put myself out there. I wanted to share my interests and the things that I like. And over the years, I've harnessed that to be more specific about what I like and what it is that I'm about and who I am and the things that make me go goo goo gaga or the things that inspire me or motivate me and all of that. So over the years, my content has shifted in that direction. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share a space where I could engage with people, uh, share the things that I like um, and just loosen up because I am an introvert. So... <sighs> Things like this tend to be very anxiety inducing for me, but over the years, <laughs> fears, fears, uh, losing my family members, the ones that are remaining, I'm really, really afraid of that. Um, living in South Africa, I'm not even going to lie, I'm afraid of dying at the hands of my partner or being violated in some way. That stuff, uh, that stuff keeps me up. Okay, I think about stuff like that because I tend to just go, I'm dark, okay, tend to be dark about certain things. Um, and um, what else, man? Uh, dying alone, and not dying alone as in, you know, um, like not having a husband or whatever, no, just dying alone with, with no one you know, to come to your funeral or whatever, like people just don't care about you anymore, like you're gone, bro. <sighs> That'd be hard for me. That'd be hard for me. I'd be dead, but that'd be hard for me. The last thing that made you cry, I cried last night uh, because I'm a big crybaby. It's, it's what happens. Even though I'm here, catch hands, but I cry very easily as well. Uh, and I cried because I was uh, in my feels about my life right now. Like a, a thankful kind of cry, but also at the same time, um, just just some fears that I have and just getting into my thoughts, getting paranoid about it and then crying about it. But it's nothing specific that's bad that happened. Nothing really happened. But um, I found myself sitting on my balcony last night at 11 o'clock at night, listening to music, had my pods in. And uh, yeah, I just had a bit of a emotional crisis that happens with me from time to time. Last time you said you love someone, I said every day, I said it yesterday, I say it to my friends, I say it to my sister, I say it to all the people that I care about. Every time I end off a call, I'm like, love ya, bye. That's what I say all the time and I mean it. It's not, um, 
I don't say love ya bye to anybody, right? I, I say love ya bye to people I really, really care about and love uh, tremendously. So I say it every day, pretty much. Mm. The meaning behind your YouTube name, just me. That's, it's just Katleo, it's just me, it's just me, what I'm about. Um, just putting myself, me out there into the world for you guys to see. So it's just me, my interests, my likes and all of that. The last book you read, I am currently reading, uh, I'll put it here because it is upstairs in my bedroom. Uh, I'm currently reading The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. I read a lot. If you follow my channel, you'll know that I read a lot. The last show you watched, What If? It's on Netflix. Wow! I'm thinking of starting Squid Game today because it seems like a lot of people are talking about Squid Game. But I watch What If? on Netflix because I'm a big fan of Renee Zellweger. I'm a big fan. I love her acting. From Bridget Jones and all of that. But just I've just followed her acting career and I really, really love her acting. So I watched What If? and wow! The twists, the, the, what, what, uh, what? Loved it. Finished it in two days. Loved it. Last person you talk to, if you're saying by text, I talk to the guy, the gent. Um, the relationship between the person. <laughs> Hang on. The relationship between you and the person you last texted. Um... We are who we are to each other. Is that is that fair? <laughs> is that fair? <laughs> okay. Um, you all would know. Like, I just don't say things like this out loud. But anyway. Favorite food? I really love anything Italian. Palisa knows this about me. Um, my friends know. Pizza, pasta, zaga, zaga, zang, zang. Anything that's Italian, I'm about it. A uh, place you want to visit. I read really 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 want to go to china i'm weird like that i want to go to china i want to go to brazil i want to go to uh, my sister always says i pick the weirdest places to go to but i really love to go to places that are rich in culture uh, i want to go to kenya not for the culture thing but i just i, I just want to go to kenya okay uh i want to go to Cote d'Ivoire. I want to go to the Cayman Islands. I want to go everywhere, man. Shit. If I could go anywhere, everywhere, I would go. I would go. Last place you were, apart from my house. Where was the last place I went when I stepped out of the house? I went to get my toes done, which was two days ago. So I haven't left my house in two days. So I went to go get my toes done, and uh, that was there by the shops there. Okay. Do you have a crush? I mean... I'm crushing on my, my new friend. Is that, is that okay? Uh, if I were to talk about actors or celebrities, I don't particularly have. I mean, I, I have a crush on Thea Baloy. And I feel like everybody knows who Thea Baloy is. I recently found out the other day that I'm older than Thea Baloy, and that kind of damaged me quite a bit. Because I was just like, ah, ah. It's most not a light again. It's okay. It's all right. But I think he's, you know, he's, he's, he's cute. He's all right. He's all right. Uh, Last time you kissed somebody. Yo, it's been a while. Gents. <laughs> I mean, it would have been this past weekend, but your boy had to go somewhere and some, some, by something. So, uh, I would roughly say... A week ago. A week ago. Yeah. A week ago. Because I saw him last Sunday. And today is a week later. Pretty much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, a week ago. Mm. Uh, Favorite flavor of sweet. I'm a sweetie. Cadbury. Yo, gents. Yo, I love Cadbury. You wanna super seas and Cadbury. I shem. You wanna, I'm a chocolate eclairs. I need to have a long brush I'm a chocolate eclairs. I chocolate eclairs, man. Whoo! Cadbury sweets are my favorite. Last song you sang. Sure, what did I sing? Benkula in. Kila Kabina. I didn't sing today. Wait. I didn't, ne? I didn't sing today. Um, but yesterday I sang. Mzonchela, Nina, guys. Wait. 
Yesterday I sang Tugs in, Tugs in, Tugs in. We sell a name king, a name king, a name king. Tugs in, Tugs in, Tugs in. We sell a name king, a name king, a name king. Up at the list when I'm young, pull at ease. Um, I'm killing a career, I'm so cold. That's the last song I sang last night. And after that, I sang Closer to, Closer to You by her. Closer to my dream. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I say. She sampled Kwapeli, but it's fine. We all know that. Um, last time you hung out with anyone? Whew. Last week Sunday, I was with the gent. That that literally, I haven't seen people since then. I haven't seen my friends. I haven't seen anybody. The last person I hung out with was the boys and the boys and the boy, the boy. That's the last one. <laughs> That's the last person I hung out with. And probably the next person that I'm probably going to hang out with as well. Um, who should... Last question. Who should answer these questions next? Anybody. If you're doing Vlogtober and you don't have any ideas on what you want to film or uh you want people to get to know you a little bit more you're a U new youtuber whatever do it do it do it do it do it do it just do it all right so um that's pretty much it from me i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please thumbs up like it subscribe click the notification bell join the family this helps me out quite a lot i really do love having you guys here i really am psyched for vlogtober um and yeah just i'll see you soon man bye tugs it tugs it tugs it